everyone, Kevin here with my one, two, three cents. And today's one-on-one -on -one is with Colt Cabana. Now I recently spoke to Colt on the phone as he's coming down to Southern Illinois, to Marion, Illinois to be exact, for All-American Pro Wrestling Main Event. It's set for Saturday, January 14th, and he's going to be wrestling on the show. I talked to him about his upcoming matchup, as well as life on the road as an independent wrestler. Sure, I am a, I'm a world-renowned professional wrestler. I wrestle all over the world. Uh, in 2011 alone, I went to Australia, Japan, South America, Puerto Rico, Mexico, Canada, and all over the United States of America. And what's crazy about it is uh, I used to be with the WWE. I'm no, I'm no longer with them. So uh, it, my schedule is just as hectic, except I don't have a travel agent or a manager or anything. I do it by myself. I'm my own booking agent. I have my own uh, you know, agent and everything. So it's, it's pretty wild, but it's really rewarding and refreshing. And, you know, the only one that's going to screw up your career is you. I don't have to worry about anybody else. And, uh, you know, Saturday, coming in to Marion, Illinois. Uh, this is one of the many stops I make, uh, you know, throughout the whole year. But they're always all special to me. I love every event I do. And, I, and I'm really excited about the show. And uh, I'm really excited about performing for the people of Marion. And you're wrestling uh, 3G Eric Wayne, who... Uh, has a little bit of lineage in the uh, wrestling world. Have you ever wrestled him before, or do you know much about Eric? No, you know, I've, I've heard the name Eric. Uh, I've, I've heard the name, you know, Eric Wade before. I, I'm well scouted, well versed. I know what I'm going up against, but I've never wrestled him before. And I really, I haven't wrestled that much in the Southern Illinois area itself, to be honest. So um, I'm kind of new to that territory, and I think it should be a good match, to be honest. It should actually be. Eric is a, is a great performer. Now, now, Colt, you do a podcast as well, and, and you talked about being your own uh, kind of manager slash travel agent and all that. So the life of the independent wrestler nowadays, you kind of almost have to be uh, have a, a business sense as well. To, otherwise, you don't work. Yeah, I mean, it's a little bit, you know, obviously, well, a lot of it is you, you need to be talented. You need to be good at what you do. Uh, and that will take you only so far. And then there's a, there's a whole other side of it, really. And there's a whole other side. You know, it, with the internet, it's really uh, it's evolved everybody. And everybody either you have to jump on it or, you, or you're going to get left behind. And I've done a great job of jumping on the bandwagon and jumping on the train and moving my career forward using social media and iTunes and, uh, and YouTube. And I've got my podcast. I put out a movie. And uh, I got a web series. So And my Twitter, I have a lot. You know, I got a lot of followers. So I use that as a weapon to help my career, and I do have a I do have a bachelor's degree in business marketing from Western Michigan University, and I do have a degree in professional wrestling from being on the road for the past 13 years doing this as my profession. So you put them all together, and it, it comes out with a nice little formula, and that's what I'm doing for myself. So you do have to be business savvy, and a lot of people think about a lot of people think about oh, you know professional wrestlers, party folks, you know they're traveling from town to town. But uh, that's a lot of the stigma from like the 1960s and 70s. And nowadays there's a lot of well-educated guys out there wrestling and performing. So uh, there's a whole variety of wrestlers out there. And, uh, and I'm glad that I'm, I'm doing my, my thing, you know, in order to be one of the more successful ones. Yeah, and you, you do a great job. And I guess it's no secret uh, CM Punk has mentioned your name in the last six months on, on WWE programming and you know your name is out there and you like you mentioned you did perform uh, with WWE obviously under a, a different name but is there ever any desire to get back into the WWE back on a, a weekly uh, television show? Well right now I'm, I'm doing this thing in the underground and it's going on really well and people really seem to dig my DIY do-it-yourself kind of approach. Uh I think it's, it's like a, you know, it's kind of like a, an independent musician, uh, you know, an unsigned musician, and it's really cool because it's going really successful right now. If WWE can't be with the right deal and the right circumstances, uh, I'd, be opening to, I'd be open to listening to them. Obviously, you know, Punk is in my name uh, during Survivor Series. They were chanting my name in Madison Square Garden, you know, all 17,000 people, <laughs> which was which is fun to see. So I know I'm doing right. I know I'm doing it right, and I know I'm doing the right thing. So uh, you know, I, I I have a business that's about me. But right now, I really enjoy being non-contracted, independent. You know, DIY, do it yourself, and uh, this is it's been a real successful path for me so far. I, a couple more quick questions. I, I know a lot of people when they think wrestling, you know, they are expecting to head out and see the. Uh, 
the John Cena's and the Stone Cold Steve Austin's of the world. Uh, but independent wrestling is is really an important thing. And talk to me a little bit about the importance of fans supporting their local guys and 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 women that are coming out and and quite frankly busting their butts uh, week in and week out for these uh, independent shows. Well, right. Uh, people that take professional wrestling, if they want to go see that live, they can spend you know over a hundred dollars for a front row ticket. If you have four family members, you know, you spend $400 just to start. And then not to, you know, mention souvenirs and food. But the great thing about independent wrestling is we bring rest- professional wrestling, small shows to your town. You can get, you know, tickets cost anywhere probably, you know, from 10 to $15. Uh, and usually there's deals for kids and whatnot. And you can bring the whole family. And there's something about live entertainment that you just, uh, you know, it's just, it can't be replaced. And especially nowadays, uh, with computer and internet and, you know, children, you know, sitting in front of the TV. This is an experience you just can't get anywhere else. You can bring the whole family, you can come and be a part of the show. Especially during my match, I love to interact with the people. I love to interact. Uh, so when you come and you see Cole Cabana match, uh, I'll always be messing with the people and interacting with the, with the kids. And uh, it's a whole part of the live experience. So nothing will ever beat out live wrestling, live theater. And, uh, and that's what we bring to each town. So I, I just think it can't be, the experience itself can't be done while watching television. It's got to be done while coming live, and you'll have the time of your life. It's so much fun. And finally, I don't know that a lot of fans in our area know much about uh, Pac and El Generico, and I know they're coming along with uh, with you for this show. What can fans expect out of these two? Yeah, this show is actually, you know, they'll, this tiny little show in Marion, Illinois, is turning out to be an international wrestling extravaganza. Uh, you know, myself, again, I, I told you my credentials, Australia, Japan, South America, I've been all over the world. Well, so has these guys. El Generico is from Tijuana, Mexico, but he wrestles all over the world. Uh, he's, a, he's, a, he's a champion in Sweden. He holds a championship in Germany. He holds a championship in Japan. Uh, he's a world-traveled wrestler. He's one of the, I think he's the number one under, most underrated wrestler that there's going today. And now Pac, Pac is a wrestler from England. He's from Great Britain. But he lives in Japan wrestling for the Dragon Gates promotion. And now he's doing a very rare tour of America. And one of his stops is for AAPW. So these two guys are two of the most uh, unbelievable, high-flying, charismatic daredevils of professional wrestling, unsigned to you know anybody on television. So it's a real underground uh, thing that you're going to be able to see in Marion, and uh, it's, it's got a lot of international flavor. These two are, are two of the best. You know, I recommend you two of them or check out their footage, El Generico and Pac, P-A-C, and, uh, and you'll be kicking yourself if you don't come to the show. Absolutely. Well, Colt, I really appreciate this, and I will. Uh, I look forward to meeting you on Saturday night at Main Event. I can't wait to be there. I can't wait to entertain for everybody. It should be a great time. Come say hi to me.